All right, so my wife and I were down looking at the creek, and I decided I'm gonna cook up a little pot of greens to try out some wild edibles. And here, like in my previous video, I brought home some balloon vine, which is I'm gonna throw these leaves and see these vine tips in. And I grabbed some Turk's cap. I'm gonna put these leaves in. And I found some smart weed. You can see these little white flowers. And they're starting to wilt a little bit because the ride home. But you know the smart weed has capsium, so that's hot. So that'll spice up the pot of greens. And of course here I have some lady stum. I gathered a bunch of that. You can see the flowers. And I have some canna lily root. It's regular old canna lily, so I'm gonna peel that like a potato and throw that in a pot of water and boil that. And I might run around to the other side of the yard and see if I can find some uh, black nightshade. I'll put a little black nightshade in there. We'll see what happens. Alright, so I peeled the outside off of the cannel lily root. It turns brown pretty quick, kind of like when you peel an apple. Get some water on it, get it boiling, let those cook a little bit, and then here I got all my wild greens, so I'll add those in and let them cook up. Alright, well I'm letting all my wild greens boil for a little bit in there with the cut up pieces of canna lily root or tuber, or whatever you want to call it. I'm hoping that the smart weed that has the capsium in it will help spice it up. So I'm not going to add any Cajun seasoning or anything like that. I just put salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. So I want to see if that will help spice it up. Alright, so I got all this cooked up. I put a little butter in it. And I'm going to see what this tastes like. I'm going to get a little bit of greens and a little bit of, of uh, can a lily root if I can. I had it. Alright, here we go. The can lily root, can a lily root is a little fibrous because I think I got a big one, maybe a little older, but all this mixture of greens. It's kind of like eating uh, turnip greens, collard greens, something like that. So that would work if you just want to, you know, have something wow, or just so you know something you can eat in a survival situation. So if you like my video, you know, leave a comment, be sure to click like, and you know, maybe even subscribe, I'll make some more videos. Alright, make sure and go outside.